Welcome everyone to episode 116 of VDH Commander Challenge. I'm your host, BT. And boy, does it feel good to be posting on a Sunday. Uh, it almost feels like everything's back to normal once again. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been really, really supportive of us while we've had a really irregular set of releases of videos. Thursday sometime, Wednesday sometime, Friday sometime. Things are slowly starting to get back to normal, so hopefully we should have regular releases on Sunday, as you see with our latest 1v1 match, which features our old school rules as you voted for a few weeks ago. Uh, as well as in the next few weeks, we're going to start to film some multiplayer matches. Also, uh, as we probably will have a few surprises for you as we're getting closer and closer to my vacation in December, and of course my birthday, which is in the middle of December itself. But that's for the future. Let's concentrate on this right here. So without any further ado, let's get to those opening hands. First, in this corner, with an opening hand of four forests, Zendikar's Resurgent, Mowoni Acid Moss, Rancor, and my mono green general, Seer Fair in the Hedge Hammer, it's yours truly, the host, BT. And in this corner, with an opening hand of a plains, two mountains, Orzhov Guildgate, Strionic Resonator, Fumigate, Vindicate, and his Mardu general, Kalia Zenith Seeker, he is the unpredictable Jimmy. Jimmy won the dice for the start us off, so let's begin the card fight. For our first turns, Jimmy plays Orzhov Guildgate tap. And I play a forest. Jimmy plays a plains and casts Trionic Resonator and passes. I play a strip mine and sack it to destroy the guild gate and pass. Jimmy plays a mountain and passes. I play a basic and cast my general Seer Farron and pass. Jimmy plays a mountain and casts Manalith and passes to me. I play a basic and cast Rancor on my general. Then I move into combat and attack Jimmy with it for 4 damage before passing the turn. Jimmy starts his turn by casting his general Kalia Zenith Seeker. With her trigger, he checks his top six cards. And he scores Avazin, Angel of Hope for his Angel card, and Noel Spine Dragon for his Dragon card. Gosh, that was redundant. My bad, guys. Then he passes. I cast Cultivate to grab two basics from my deck, one to play tapped and the other to my hand, which I then play for the turn and pass. Jimmy plays a Boros Guildgate and casts Vindicate, destroying my Seer Farron with the Rancor returning to my hand when it's sent to the graveyard. Then he attacks me with Kalia for 3 damage before passing. For my turn, I cast Mulvani Acid Moss, destroying the Boros Guildgate and getting a basic from my deck into play tapped. Then I pass. Jimmy plays Crucible of the Spirit Dragon and casts Karn the Great Creator, looking to shut off my artifacts in my deck. He uses its plus one ability to animate his Manolith into a 3-3 creature. Then he moves into combat and attacks me with both the Manolith and Kalia. I take both hits and then Jimmy passes. I cast Green Sun Zenith for my turn, where X is 4, and get the oldest Foil Elvish Piper from my deck into play, and pass. Jimmy plays Clifftop Retreat, and casts Aegis Angel. With her ability, he targets Kalia, making her indestructible. He then moves into combat, 
and attacks me with Kalia, dealing me another three damage before passing. For my turn, I recast my General and recast my Rancor, which I place back on it before passing. Jimmy casts Soul Ring and yet again moves into combat and attacks me with Kalia, dealing me another three damage, getting closer and closer to lethal commander damage. In his second main phase, he upticks Karn, targeting his Resonator, and finally, he casts Null Spine Dragon. As he goes to discard his hand and then draw a card for each damage I took this turn, I, with all due respect, advise him not to bother, as I top deck a card last turn that may be too strong for him to stop in my next turn. Jimmy refuses to believe it as he's been pretty much in control of the game and passes telling me to prove it. I oblige my good friend and during his end step I tap my elvish piper to put in one of the most fiendish creatures into play who doesn't need much introduction. For my turn, I play a basic and move into combat and attack with both my Colossus and my Seer Farron. My Seer's ability triggers and my Colossus gains plus four plus four. Jimmy has his Aegis Angel block my General and has his Kalia and Null Spine block my Colossus. But before damage, I cast Berserk doubling my Colossus' power to 30, causing Jimmy to take well beyond poison lethal damage, giving me the win, and well, like the song would say, I'm really glad Blight steals my friend, cause he is the infect that will never ever end. Man, this should have really been our Halloween episode. <laughs> Jimmy was in control of most of the game. Had he saved his Vindicate for my Elvish Piper, I may have been in serious trouble. Speaking of Elvish Piper, the card doesn't see much play in Commander, even in Tribal Elves. But, when your hand or deck consists of a bunch of high converted mana cost powerhouse creatures, it surely has a place in your 99. Through their picks, let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy our content, consider becoming a patron. We'll give you access to some sweet bonuses while helping out the channel at the same time. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you're a fan of EDH gameplay and you like whether it be 1v1 or multiplayer and you want to be part of the ever-growing Commander Challenge family, just make sure you smash the subscribe button and notification bell down below. We do weekly videos. Don't forget as well to like, comment, share our videos, but most importantly, enjoy them. On behalf of all of our members here, I'm your host BT. Feel free to check out all of the videos on the channel, join our game, it's now your turn. Cheers!